Hi traders, I just made over $2,000 day trading stocks in less than one hour. Let me show you how. RDFN is down 14%. I love the way it looks. You see the first one minute candle is up. That means that uh, the buyers are buying and that's great because they're moving out of the game. And then we have a small dodgy and now the third candle is coming down slightly. I'm looking for a reversal where I would like to short it. Just that I want to make sure it's coming down. This until now it's just a small pullback. So I'm looking for a bit more. I think it probably looks good now. Okay, getting ready to short. I'm short 4,000 shares. I want to see it under the lows. It's 19.20. MCHP looks quite the same. It's down 9.5%. The lows is 88.25. I want to short it under 88.50 because I think that once it comes down under 50, it's probably going to come down under the lows. I'm shorting now at 51 because I'm seeing a lot of volume coming in. Was I right? I hope I was. I like NEO down 7%. The lows is 12.05. I want to short it under the lows. It's getting close. Shorting now. Just moved under. Always like to anticipate the lows and shorted it at 12.05. Great. MCHP is consolidating here, but if it's going to come down under the recent lows 25, I want to add. So watch it. If it breaks down this consolidation, it looks like the volume is growing now. You can see that on the time and sale. So I'm getting ready to add. I would like to add 1,000 shares. I already have 4,000 shares. And I'm getting ready to add 1,000. Here we go. Okay, broke down very strong. Great. Looks great. Amazing. Come on, come on, come on. Any sign of a pullback I'm going to cover? At any sign of a pullback? Watch the sellers for of pullback. Right now you see them at 76. 67, great, it's coming down. I'm getting ready to cover. At any pullback, watch the seller. 67, 66, good. No need to click the button yet. At any pullback, watch the sellers. You're not supposed to be watching the chart. Only the sellers. It's going to pop up a few cents. I'm going to click the button now. You could have seen them moving up just slightly. That's the first sign of a pullback. I just covered, left 400 shares. What an amazing $3,300 trade. JD is down 1%. I like this uh, support area at uh, 3560. So if it's going to come down underneath 3560, it's going to look good. I want to short it. Uh, stop is just like 15 cents, no more than that, I think. Maybe a little bit more. Now, just moved under the 60. Again, you need to watch the buyer side to notice that. And it comes. Neo is giving me some hard time. I was expecting a 20 cents stop loss, but I already got 35 cents. That's bad. Closing here. I'm out of Neo. I couldn't move out earlier. You see this uh, quick spike here? I just couldn't move out. When I, when you see a quick spike, you always wait for a pullback. And I did get the pullback, but then it decided to move over this recent high. So again, when you have a quick spike up, you never move out. You just wait for a pullback. The pullback did come. I could have moved out here, but I was hoping it's going to return to the lows, which did not happen. Then once it came over the recent high, the high of this spike, I was just forced to move out of Neo. So I have a stop which is uh, a bit bigger than I was planning. Um, I do have a $1,400 loss in Neo. JD is not doing good. I did not expect a um, big stop loss here. As you can see, it's relatively very small. I'm getting ready to move out, 17 cents down now, almost 20 cents loss in JD, did not go my way, change direction. Stock was only down 1%, that could have happened. I would like to watch run at 
was just posted in the trading room. So here it is. Look at this consolidation here. Stock is down almost 11%. I love this consolidation. Look at the daily. Just broke support. When it's going to come down, if it's going to come down now, I'm shorting. Just moved under this consolidation area. That should be the signal to start moving lower. The lows is 12.53. It's, we're just 10 cents above the lows. Shorted 4,000 shares. Although it's a $12 stock, it's a big, big mover. Look at the numbers here. I mean, stock is like uh, 25 cents, no big deal, but uh, I think it can do more than that. It's $12 stock, volume's good, almost 1 million shares. We're getting close to the lows, which is 53, but my target is just above 50. Shorted it at 69. Here we go. Just above 50. If it's going to pull back up, I'm going to cover. At any pullback now, I'm a little bit concerned from the semi hole number, which is 0 0.50. You find a lot of buyers at 0 0.50. So watch the buyer's side, watch the seller's side. There still is a lot of pressure. Look at the pressure at 53. Huge pressure. It should come down. It should come down. You already see the buyers at 50, but less buyers than sellers. Look at the buyers at 50. These are 72. That means 7,200 shares. These are hundreds. But look at the number of sellers. That looks great. It looks like we do have a chance to move under the 50s. I'm getting ready to cover in case it moves up by 5 cents or so. In fact, if it moves over 55, I'm going to cover. No, we're under 50. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, this is great. It's coming down. Look at that. Look at it goes. Oh, amazing. Okay. Any pullback now, and it continues, it continues. Look at the seller side, look at the seller side, just came down to 28, 27, 25, 24, 23. Any pullback, 19, oh, this is great. Any pullback now, now look, the volume is growing. The volume is growing, that's a sign of a pullback. Growing means a pullback. And now, you could have seen the volume growing. That's a very good sign of a pullback because, you know, people think that growing volume shows you of more people selling. Yes, but that means the sellers are out of the game. And that means it's going to pull back. And it just did. So I covered. What an amazing trading run. RDFN is not doing good. It's consolidated for a long, long while here, and it looks like it's just about to make a decision to move. I'm getting ready to cover. Yeah, if I'm just going to see it moving up another few cents. Watch the seller side. You see them at 75 now. 76, not good. I'm covering. Covered. Well, I have a loser in RDFN. It just decided to move higher. It's not a big loser, but once you see this consolidation and the stock finally made a decision to move higher, I was expecting it to move lower, then you need to move out. Well, interesting day. I'm up $2,000 just uh, 55 minutes into the trading day. The interesting part is I'm up $2,000, although... I have three losers and two winners, but my losers are much smaller than my winners. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.